everyone, I'm Mrs. Wadsworth. I'm one of your kindergarten Sunday school teachers. Uh, welcome to week two. Today we're going to read a little lesson out of our instruction book. And we're gonna learn about more about the cross. And then when we're done with that, I went to the library today and I got a book for us to read together. So let's get started. The first thing we always do in Sunday school is we always say a little prayer. So I'm going to open, we always stand up when we say a prayer. And the prayer today is, dear Lord, we thank you for the sign of the cross, amen. So when we do our cross, we put three fingers together. We start at the top and we say, we go down to the our chest and then we go over and over and then we Put our hand over the chest. So why don't you guys all try that at home? Top, down, over, over. Good job. All right, today for our story, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions. So I'm gonna ask the question and I'm gonna wait a little bit and you can tell your mom and dad the answer at home. Have you ever been on an airplane? I know that I have. And if you are on an airplane and you look out the window, what does everything look like? Is it really big or is it teeny tiny? It's really teeny tiny. It looks like little um, matchbox cars and big lakes might look like little puddles um, and rivers like they look like little zigzag lines. If you ever fly over an Orthodox church, you'll notice something special about our churches that not all churches have. Our churches are shaped like a cross. I'm gonna show you this. This is gonna be our craft later, but I'm gonna show you now. So like up here is where the altar is, and here is where we all sit, and over here is where we have the area for our baptisms, and over here is where the choir sits. So if you flew over a church, it would be in the shape of a cross. And now I have a question for you. Why do you think that is? Well, the cross is a reminder of something. The cross reminds us of Jesus. Jesus is God's son. So we remember Jesus' birthday every year on Christmas. When Jesus grew up, he did so many wonderful things. He helped sick people. He helped blind people that didn't think they could ever see again. He helped them see again. He helped people that were in a wheelchair. He helped them walk. He taught us many things about God and about love. But most importantly, we learn that Jesus loves us very much. Some people though, they didn't like Jesus. They said bad things about him and they made fun of him. And at the end of his life, they nailed him to a cross. Jesus died on that cross. He gave his life for us and he said, Father, I give my life into your hands. He gave himself for us and he taught us how to give. On Easter Sunday, God brought Jesus back to life again. And we'll learn all about that when it gets closer to Easter. The cross shows that we're Christians. Some of us wear crosses around our necks. I know every single one of you has a cross because you get them when you're baptized. So if you don't know where that is, ask your mom and dad and they'll show you. The cross helps us remember all the things that Jesus said and did. And the cross helps us remember love and remember kindness. The cross also helps us remember that Jesus came back to life again. So today I'm going to read you a story, but before I do that, I'm going to tell you guys about our craft. I sent all your moms and dads a picture of the cross. If you don't have a printer at home, your mom and dad is going to just take a place, a piece of paper and draw a cross. And I want you guys to decorate it. Now you can use, crayons or markers, or if you have little jewels or pom-poms, you can do whatever you want to decorate your cross. And at the end of the day, I'd like you to take a picture of you and your cross and send it to me. So before I started the lesson, I did my own cross. So see how I made my cross brown? Then I put little pom-poms at the tops and the bottom and the middle. And then I colored in all my crosses. And at the top I wrote, Mrs. Wadsworth, because it's my cross. And then I'm going to hang that up. So if you guys can work on your cross and send me a picture, that's great. So 
So now I have this book, it's called On Noah's Ark. Normally in Sunday school, if we have extra time, there's a whole entire rack of books and we can pick which book we wanna read. But since I don't have access to the Sunday school room, I went to the library to get my book. I bet you guys can go to the library and find lots of books, not only about Jesus and God, but about all different kinds of things. So the book today I got is called On Noah's Ark. Grandpa Noah says that the rain is coming and soon the land will be covered with water. So look, Grandpa Noah is building an ark and that's his grandson who's telling us the story. Grandpa Noah is building an ark for our family and the animals to live until it stops raining. Oh look, the ark is ready and the animals are starting to come. The animals go in two by two. Big animals thump and bump onto the ark. Oh my goodness, those are some really cool animals. I think that I like the tigers the best on this page. Middle-sized animals clip clop by, and small animals squeeze in. Flying creatures perch on beams above, and swimming animals splash below. Well, that's cool. They have room for all of the animals. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained. Mm. Only the tops of the mountains poke up above the water. My goodness, I can't even imagine. It's crowded inside the ark. The animals push and shove each other. Oh my goodness, look at all those animals in the ark. That bunny looks like it's trying to get away from the cheetah. The ark rocks back and forth like a giant cradle. And the animals fall asleep in a jumble together. I guess all that excitement wore them out. Everyone's asleep except for me. Oh, look at that poor kid. He's got koalas hugging him and he's trying to sleep on a giraffe. So he tiptoed around and he untangled them all. And it just kept raining and raining and raining for 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, they do look so peaceful though, though while they're sleeping. One morning I wake up and I don't hear the rain. I look outside and the sun is shining. I run and wake up Grandpa Noah. He sends my dove to look for land. She returns with a fresh green leaf from a tree nearby. Grandpa Noah steers the ark to the land and the animals wake up and look outside. <gasps> they were probably so excited that it stopped raining. Two by two, the animals look for new homes. East, west, north, and south they go. My goodness, look at all those cool animals. Some of the animals stay with us. But who stays with them? They have cows, kitty cats, goats. Grandpa plants a tiny seed. Oh, they have chickens. Soon we will be settled into this new place. Well, thanks everyone for joining me for Sunday school today. I can't wait until I can see you guys in person. And I look forward to getting your craft this week. And after I get your craft from you, the picture, then I want you guys to watch the mail because I'm going to be sending something special to each and every one of you this week. Have a great day. Bye.